Okay, so a mixture problem, how to. Now, a similar problem, this has got the percentage of a certain type of solution as a subject. Um, you can do the similar method that I'm about to show you with money, like selling tickets to the theater, etc., etc. There's a lot of different um, uses for this um, method I'll show you. Okay, the big important thing is make sure you just carefully summarize your information. Really, a lot of times, the whole trick to a word problem is summarizing what you're given versus what you are not. Always know what you're looking for or what you're being asked to do. All right, suppose you work in a lab. You need 15% acid solution for a certain test that you need to run. But your supplier only ships a 10% solution and a 30% solution. Rather than pay the hefty, fun, hefty fees to have the supplier mix the solutions for you, you decide to mix a 10% solution with a 30% solution to make 10 liters of your own 15% solution. The question is, how many liters of 10% and 30% should you use to make your 15? The big deal here, when you have a mixture problem, you want to summarize into a table. Okay. So let's go ahead and make a table, and we'll come back up and we'll say what is x, let x be this, and we'll let something else be that. So leave a little bit room here, okay, for the lets. Okay, so we'll leave a little room, and then we'll come here and we'll make a table. Okay, so we'll summarize in a table. like this okay and just kind of I like to keep it in the order of the percent formula percent of an amount so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to put the percentage solution okay all right and then I'm going to say what amount this will be another column okay and then we're going to put a column for totals of course all right Here's how it goes. Okay, we're mixing what? We're mixing a 10% and a 30%. And the amounts, let's get to that in a sec. Okay, of course we want to end up with, okay, so these are being mixed. And then put a little dotted line here. Okay. Right. to get we want a 15 percent okay all right so how much do we want to end up with now look here okay we want to read carefully here we want to make 10 liters of our own 15 percent acid solution so we want to end up with 10 liters so that's going to be down here in the to get okay there we go, 10 liters. All right, that makes it much easier for us to fill in the variables we need in the amounts. That's the tough part of these, okay? What students typically think is tough. Okay, let me give this a sec. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let there be, let's let x equal some amount of the 10, we'll see some amount meaning so many liters of the 10% solution. Okay? And then we're going to have something else be so many liters of the 30%. Okay, so blank, 10, blank amount of the 30. So this is what it's asking me for here. Now, I know I need to end up with 10, so total, okay? So let's kind of look here, okay? Let me get a measuring stick. And let's say this measuring stick is equal to 10, okay? I'm going to chop off X amount because I've accounted for that here, right? And so I'm just going to say let the first thing be X. So let's let the amount of 10% solution I need be X. Well, then what is left over on my measuring stick? If I chop off x, 
it was 10 what what is it now so the part that I highlighted there must be 10 minus right chop off X okay so that's what the other amounts going to be 10 minus X so we're going to come back and answer those when we finally solve for X so we're going to let X be so many liters of the 10% solution and then let 10 which is what I, it told me I needed to end up with minus that that'll make up the difference make up the difference and that's what we're doing that's how we are answering these X's in 10 minus 10 okay so and now so now I want to get those totals up so it's now it's I'm gonna actually pour it in the pot and mix it so here's how watch this line we're gonna come through from left to right and multiply so put a little multiplication symbol there or let's see since we'd probably rather put the dot nowadays since we're using X as our variable okay all right and so let's come across we have 10% okay which was what it's 0.10 right so 0.10 and I'm going to keep it to two decimal places for now X okay and we'll come across here for this one really got to remember to keep the parentheses around this second amount that we came up with okay because we're multiplying 30 percent times that entire expression so this second total is going to be 0 0.30 and then times 10 minus X now these are the two solutions I'm mixing together in other words when I pour it into the pot I'm going to pour the first one and then the second one and then that means I'm adding them together okay now equal what I'm supposed to get so let's multiply the to get row so we need 0.15 times 10 we know that one that's pretty simple right so 1.5 okay make note of that now look here's how this goes this is our equation this is where we get our equation so to kind of do that we're going to add those two guys to equal this right so here's the equation okay all right let's get that we'll have 0.10x plus 0 0.30 times 10 minus x is equal to 1.5 and it is 1.5 because it was 15 percent of 10 okay let's go on and solve this thing okay so you can pause the video here and try to do it yourself and then look at mine or whatever you want to do but I ch I'm challenging you to challenge yourselves so let's start off by eliminating the parentheses on the left side by distributing the point 30. Okay, and now here we can get rid of the zeros. The 30 can become point 3, by the way, except it's going to become 3 in just a sec. So point 30 times 10 is 3. So let me go ahead and bring that down. Okay. By the way, let's bring down everything else that we're not going to do anything with right now. So we can point 10 that we'll add that so point third times 10 is 3 and then minus point 3x you can keep 3 0 is fine whatever you want to do but keep it correct whatever you do for now okay now we're going to get our x, leave our x terms on that left side, and we're going to go ahead and subtract the 3 from both sides. That way I have my constants on the right and my x terms on the left. So we cancel here. So, so there on the right, I'll end up with negative 1.5. 3 minus 1.5 is 1.5. So we have the negative. Okay, and now we have 0.10 minus 0.30. Oh, 
okay, which is what? Negative 0.2. It's working out fine because both sides are negative. You can kind of see I have a little foresight and see that when I divide both sides by this negative 0.2, my negative signs will cancel and all the signs kind of write themselves after a few steps there so that's kind of cool okay so now X is equal to 7.5 liters these guys cancel okay and don't forget that is a point two. okay so you gotta watch your decimals and your signs, okay? So be very careful on these. So we're to where you can see. There. Liters. Liters. <laughs> okay. And then so let's come back up to the top and answer this, okay? So we're gonna take this guy. Okay, and we're gonna bring it up back up to the top and summarize it up here where we had our let statement. Okay. So we're going to let, we let x equal the 10% solution amount. And then we let 10 minus x be the 30%. So we found out, though, that x is 7.5 liters. And so now 10 minus x is going to be 10 minus 7.5 or 2.5 liters of 30% solution. So if I mix 7.5 liters of the 10%, and 2.5 liters of the 30% solution, I will get 10 liters of my 15% solution.